not only is organic kind of the product, but the co-op itself has really been very organic. We had our own convention. It wasn't as though we were embracing the larger business culture. But there was a big tradition of group work parties, this, this, it be, this neighborhood being the mansion neighborhood, and there were a lot of people who had purchased houses and were part of the, the extended free school community, and we had a tradition that we brought to the co-op of doing these massive work parties, and that, you know, you got, they were like barn raisings. And that's how, that's how that store got fitted sure. out. So by the time it was time to build the co-op, it was just so, well, oh, sure, why not? If we want that kind of food, they don't sell it here, we'll order it. It was just this little, dinky, small, um, one storefront. And then over the course of the time we were there, we knocked out we a expanded wall, expanded to the knocked out another front. wall, knocked out another wall, built a cooler. You know, and it just kind of grew until it just was bursting out. Somebody drew that one T-shirt or something like that that showed the co-op breaking Frank right Smith. after. Frank Smith. <laughs> yeah. It was yeah. so funky, and the rent was like 190 a month, almost nothing. Was right? it? Right. But we had to do everything. There was no plumbing. We put the plumbing in, and you built the counters. And yeah, we had a lot of people working on it. We completely company. started yeah. from scratch. Oh. It was a, it was a rat yeah. hole when we got it. Building bins, trying to fake a walk-in cooler. Right. It was really a mess. I mean, it was like a construction job, completely unorganized. The electrical was like a real puzzle. <laughs> and, and, and maybe even dangerous, <laughs> you know. Uh, and it was that way. F I don't, we never thought about the danger. One of the things they had problems with was the building was so funky. And then the health inspectors showed up, <laughs> and they discovered rats. An occasional refrain during that work would be, so how are the working conditions here? And the answer would be, what working conditions? We have no working conditions. <laughs> I remember driving with Nancy to Amherst to Rising Sun Food Co-op who was upgrading to that nice new co-op they were building with it, like a really nice freezer and all, and it had drains in it and so forth. And we were getting for free their old barrels, barrels for yeah. bulk goods. We piled them all into the you know smaller barrels, like this height and so forth. Like this. Barrel, yeah. We piled them all into my orange van, my Econoline, and Nancy and I drove them back to the co-op as oh. a huge upgrade to our bulk storage bin. <laughs> I can learn things from this. Thanks. Thank you. That's what they can uh, offer. You know, of course, I still have one of those barrels. <laughs> <laughs>